Welcome to FINA Aquatics World. In this month's program, we're off to Beijing for more from the Swimming World Cup. We preview the upcoming FINA World Championships in Istanbul. And we sit down with London 2012 medalist Michael Jameson. Twenty twelve has been a fantastic swimming year. The Olympics were naturally the high point, but the World Short Course Championships are sure to finish things off with a bang. And then there was of course the FINA Arena Swimming World Cup for 2012. And in this episode it's time to hit the three-stop Asian leg, starting off with Beijing, the city that hosted the 2008 Olympic Games. Russia's Stanislav Donets has been dominating the men's 50 and 100 metre backstroke. Over the shorter distance, Donets is unbeaten. And in the Chinese capital, he went hunting his fifth straight win in the longer race. Looked like he was slightly ahead here, but no, Donets is two tenths ahead of him and it's Delaney in third. And Hurley is really coming back strong on the back 50. And it should be very interesting to see just how far ahead he is, if indeed he is. But no, Donets holds on. Hurley claims silver and Delaney bronze. Donetsk was just too good for the field as he registered 50.07 and touching the tiles first. Australia's Rachel Go, like Donetsk, has been the form horse in the 50 and 100 metre women's backstroke. A win here would make it five out of six for 2012 and at the same time make amends for her silver in 2011 at the venue. Already in the yellow cap, you can see her there in the green swimsuit, she's looking very comfortable indeed. And she turns, and uh, but as you can see in the top of the picture, Cheng Haihua of uh, China putting in a real battle. Maybe she'll contend here, but no go looking very comfortable indeed. But the Chinese woman will take second. In fact, it's a 2 3 for the uh, hosting club. But Rachel Go again, a very dominant display. Another cracking time from the 26 year old, her best in five gold medal performances. She also clinched the double by taking the 100 metres later on in the programme. Germany's Britta Steffen swept the fields in Dubai, Doha, Stockholm, Moscow and Berlin. And as you see, once again in Beijing. And now she starts to turning on on the near side. But uh, the crowd obviously getting behind the Chinese swimmers. But you can see in the bottom of your picture, Britta Steffen coming in very rapidly to claim another gold medal. Victory number six for the flying German swimmer in a time of 52.78. Stefan didn't take part in the 50 meter freestyle, which was won by Yin Fan of China, head of Inge Decker. Decker was also in the start blocks for the 50 meter and 100 meter butterfly. On day one, she claimed the 100 meter title. Then she hit the front early on in the 50 meter butterfly final the next day. Well, Decker has really taken advantage of the fact that um, Therese Alcimar has not been partaking in the last few meets. It'd be interesting to see what she does here. She's currently looking like she's ahead in lane six in the silver um, swim cap, just to the right of your picture in that underwater shot. And she looks like she may well do it here, but there's a very strong finish from Gray. But Decker holds on, and in fact, Lu Ying out touches Gray. Stanislav Donets wasn't content with one win in the Beijing pool and he returned for the 50 metres to take his 10th World Cup gold in 2012. Donets was just too good for the field as he registered his fastest time at the World Cup so far, 23.15 for the swim. Katinka Hosu had amassed a phenomenal 27 gold before she touched down in Beijing for the 2012 FINA Arena Swimming World Cup sixth stop. She raced in four events, taking gold in the 800 meter freestyle, the 200 meter butterfly, and the 100 meter individual medley. But in the 200 meter individual medley, the Hungarian star met double Olympic gold medalist Yi Xiaowen. It could be something of a message to the rest of the world. It's outside of world record or World Cup record. Attention, no, it is a World Cup record. She does send the history books off for, to be rewritten once again. Gold number 31 eluded Ho Su as she had to bow to the speed of China's Yi Xiaowen in the 200 meter individual medley. 
There was no one standout performer in Beijing on the men's side, but instead certain nations outperformed others. Australia finished top after two days of racing, as two men, Kenneth Toe and Tommaso de Sonia, topped their fields. Toe won the 100 individual medley and the 100 metre butterfly. Jason Dunford is going to have to do a lot of work if he's to get back into this, but Jean Kibin now really setting the afterburners alight. Can he catch the Australian? I don't think he will, but he will certainly manage to take silver away from Jason Dunford. And that's how it finishes. Kenneth Cho takes another gold to add to his gold that he took in Stockholm. While De Sonia doubled in the 100 and 200 metre freestyle. With his uh, South African flag on the side. So as they come home but Hurley's come having a fantastic finish as is De Sonia. De Sonia's nicked it over compatriot Hurley and well actually Hurley and Townsend equal second they touch home at exactly the same time but De Sonia had an absolutely scintillating finish there and he's feeling the burn there as you can see New Zealand finished the two-day meet with three gold medals thanks to Matthew Stanley in the 400-meter freestyle and Glenn Snyders who took double gold in the 50-meter and 100-meter breaststroke. Lee Young Ki putting in a valiant effort. But he will indeed take bronze. So Stanley, comfortable gold medal winner, has the winning time 340.74. A one-man race, Glenn Snyders in lane five. It looks like he's got the better of the rest of the field, but again, it's a close run affair. And Snyders does indeed take gold. Springer of Australia in second. Another nation to do well was Japan. Yuki Shirai and Kazuya Kaneda stood on top of the podium in their respective races. Shirai's fourth and Kaneda's third victory of the Swimming World Cup. That's all from Beijing, but we'll be back with more from Asia as our next tour stop is Tokyo. First up, though, we meet British swimming star Michael Jameson. Born in 1988 in Glasgow, Scotland, Michael Jameson is one of the best young swimming prospects to come out of Britain in recent years. Continuing the tradition of great British breaststrokers, Jameson stunned the London crowd at the 2012 Olympics when he won the silver medal in the 200 metre breaststroke, breaking the British record three times in the process. Only a world record set by Daniel Guetta stopped this 24-year-old Brit from claiming gold. But looking back at his Olympic adventure, despite having narrowly missed out on that top spot, Jameson is using the experience to spur him on even further. You know, the challenge for me now is, you know, I don't want this silver to be the career highlight. I want to go on and and win more medals and you know there's a great few meets coming up over the next few years I'm just coming into my peak now in terms of age and maturity I think and you know I've got I've got experience now at you know at the top level meets and I hope that you know I hope that I can build on this summer and you know I do still think there's room for improvement and that I can swim faster. Many athletes can only dream of participating in the Olympics, let alone winning an Olympic medal in front of a home crowd. And for Michael, it was a truly unforgettable experience. Uh, I mean, it was brilliant. The whole experience was, was everything I kind of hoped it would be. Um, I think I really fed off the crowd and the support from, from you know, the British public. I think the whole summer it's been, it's been amazing. I think they really embraced the Olympic and Paralympic Games. And, um, for me, they, they really did make a difference, especially on that last 50. Um, I mean, as I said, I think I'd, I'd always kind of targeted a medal, but it was only it was only really during the race that I thought, you know, I do, you know, perhaps have a chance of, of winning this, and you know, in that respect, just came up short. But you know, I was I think probably the first time in my career I've surprised myself with with the time at the end of the race, and you know, overall, just uh, delighted with with the time, with the British record and, and with the silver. A student at the University of Bath and currently pursuing a degree in sports performance, Jameson credits the university's physical fitness programme for a lot of his progress. It's been huge for me. Um, I mean, a couple of years ago I decided to make the move to Bath and uh, their strength and conditioning programme was quite a big factor in that move. Um, I think over the last couple of years I've really tried to kind of changed my physique and 
and almost sort of changed my changed my training goals. Um, I think the improvements I've made in the 200 have come mainly from an improvement over the 100. That was always my weakness, and and you know it still is. It's something I'm still going to have to focus on in the next few years. And you know to make those improvements over the 100, I needed to um, you know put a little bit of weight on, you know develop some strength and, and put some muscle on. And um, you know it's that sort of focus in, in the gym and, and on the land based circuits and, and strength work that's that's really helped me make those improvements in the pool. There are plenty of upcoming events for Jameson to have a chance to prove himself before the Rio Olympics. Next year the 15th FINA World Championships will be held in Barcelona and the year after that Jameson's hometown Glasgow will play host to the Commonwealth Games taking place in the very pool that he's put his hard yards in. And with the cheers of the home crowd buoying him on, perhaps gold will be within his reach. Coming up after the break, we're back for more Swimming World Cup action in Tokyo and Singapore. We preview the FINA Swimming World Championships and the male and female stars of the World Cup are crowned. Welcome back. In part two of FINA Aquatics World, we look ahead to the FINA Swimming World Championships. The king and queen of the Swimming World Cup Series are crowned. But first, we're in Tokyo for stop number seven. After Beijing, the World Cup of 2012 moved east to the Japanese capital of Tokyo. And the Japanese fans had plenty to cheer about as their favorite sons collected five gold medals. Yuki Shirai took his fifth consecutive 200-meter backstroke. Akito Yamaguchi won the breaststroke over the same distance. And Kazuya Kaneda extended his gold medal tally in the 200-meter butterfly to four. But the star of the show was Daya Saito. Saito broke the dominance of Darien Townsend in the 200-meter individual medley in the World Cup's fastest clocking to date. And then in the 400-meter version, he delivered something special. But look at this, this is just an absolute blitzing of the field. So far ahead, and there's no way anybody's coming back from this. So it is a blistering time here from Seto. But this is just very, very dominant indeed. And what a time, has he gone under four minutes? Just shy of four minutes. Wow. And he manages to claim another World Cup record, and the smile says it all. Sato adjusted the World Cup record he set in Berlin in October to 400.02, much to the delight of the Japanese crowd in Tokyo. Aside from Sato's electric swim, Stanislav Donetsk was once again ruling the waters when he added two more gold to his growing tally. The Russian produced his fastest 100-meter backstroke of the World Cup when stopping the timer at 49.49. USA's Michael Chloe was the distance king in Tokyo when he stood on the podium for the 400 meter and 1500 meter freestyle races. But Kenneth Toe, the Australian, still leads the rankings thanks to his quick times in the men's 100 meter individual medley ahead of Trinidad's George Bovell. As they turn out of breaststroke into the freestyle element, and Bovell looking like he might just do enough to prevent Kenneth Toe from a gold medal once again, but Toe finishing fast, but it does finish, Pavel Toe. So, George Pavel shows us his muscles and claims a gold medal. So, Pavel winning here, but Toe still tops the rankings. On the women's side of the competition in Tokyo, the local women couldn't match the feats of the men. Padri Kanito did strike gold in the 200 meter breaststroke. Katika Hosu, it's safe to say, is the queen of the FINA Arena Swimming World Cup. And in Tokyo, she again ruled the roost and collected gold numbers 31, 32, 33 and 34. She's on track to scoop the World Cup prize money as second place Susanna Jakobos needs a world record to displace her fellow Hungarian. And uh, Katinka Hosu adds yet another gold medal to her haul. 154.94, the winning time. 
three ladies make the podium's top step twice in Tokyo. First out, Melissa Ingram continued New Zealand's golden run in the FINA Arena Swimming World Cup with wins in the 400m freestyle and 200m backstroke. And surely she will just put her foot down and up the stroke rate and take gold. But Melissa Ingram making a valiant attempt to hold on. Has she held on? Yes. She has. Ingram. Wow in uh, something of a surprise result, I would say, has snatched gold away from Hossu. Jessica Hardy of the US increased her gold medal haul to five by taking yet another 50 meter breaststroke win and she took the 100 meters as well. And uh, Hardy really going for it now in the black cap in the middle of your picture in lane five, but uh, Rika Pedersen putting in a really fabulous swim in lane six and she could well take silver here. Hardy makes sure of gold, she does take silver. What a fabulous swim by Jessica Hardy, the American. She took gold in the 100 yesterday, she took gold in this in Moscow and Berlin, and she takes gold in the 50 meter breaststroke here in Tokyo. And lastly, from Tokyo, Britta Stefan extended her reign in the 100 meter freestyle with victory number seven and her fastest time of the year to date. She also found the water to her liking in the 50 metre version, where she stopped the clock at a year's best of 24.01. So as they turn, it's looking like Britta Stefan is ahead, but uh, Inga Decker staying with her, but also a very quick finish from Jessica Hardy, but Stefan claims yet another gold. An incredible time, it's better than her efforts in Stockholm. The IAAF's World Indoor Athletic Championships started off 2012 in Istanbul, and the FINA World Swimming Championships will finish off a huge sporting year as the world's best converge in Turkey on the 12th of December for four days of swimming action. Two years ago it was Dubai's turn, but this time around the Sinan Erdem Dome will welcome fans and swimmers from across the globe to fill its 22,500 seats. Ryan Lochte of the US and Spain's Maria Belmonte Garcia were the king and queen of the pool in Dubai in 2010, but we'll have to wait and see which countries and which athletes will rule the Istanbul waters for the 11th FINA World Swimming Championships. The eighth and final stop of the FINA Arena Swimming World Cup was Singapore. The king and queen of the World Cup are to be crowned. Kenneth To leads for the men, and Katinka Hosso of Hungary is on track for the women to run away with the spoils. Each swimmer's four best performances count towards their final ranking. Five female swimmers walked away from the final stop of the World Cup with two gold medals around their necks. Denmark's Jeanette Otterson Gray touched the wall first in the 50 meter and 100 meter butterfly, giving her a welcome boost heading into the World Championships. Rachel Go of Australia had 10 gold from the early World Cup stops in the fastest times in the 50 meter and 100 meter backstroke, so it came as no surprise when she added two more. Go finished in eighth place on the rankings with her best effort coming in Berlin. And the 26-year-old from Australia, just look at her, absolutely under the water, under the water, and now breaks. She's home and hosed here, but I tell you what, Grace Lowe is pushing hard. That's a very, very impressive performance. It's, it's Rachel Go that takes it. Grace Lowe in second place. Another great performance there by the two Australian girls. Germany's Britta Stefan won on day one, the 50 meter freestyle, and as per normal, she also collected the 100 meter title. In total, Stefan won 13 gold and finished third in the rankings. Britta Stefan, and that is a very, very impressive performance. And just look at her come through again. Stefan, we warned you. We knew that there was a fantastic opportunity, and look at that time. That is a very, very impressive time from uh, Britta Stefan, 52.38. Susanna Jakobos has had to play second fiddle to her friend and fellow Hungarian Katinka Hossel throughout the Swimming World Cup of 2012. But she did nab two gold in Singapore and three in total to go with her 26 silver over the eight legs. 
That was good enough for 50,000 US dollars and second place behind the superb, almost invincible Katinka Hosu. And just look at this, Katina, Katinka Hosu of Hungary, the 23 year old, is coming so strongly now. Just listen to the crowd firing her up. And we've got uh, the officials looking, but watch okay, out, Jacobos. Susanna Jakobos coming back. But it's all too little, too late. It is Katinka Hosu who takes it. That was a fine, fine performance once again from Katinka Hosu. 39 gold medals, 8 silver and 6 bronze for the Hungarian star. And it was no surprise that her amassed 196 points saw her lift the 100,000 US dollar check. This is the heroine of the FINA Arena Swimming World Cup 2012. Katinka Hosu of Hungary, 196 points overall. She is a multi-multi winner. She will make great use of 100,000 US dollars. She's not embarrassed to take it, let me tell you. What a wonderful, wonderful performer. Great, great style. She deserves it. Well, I'm definitely really, really happy with my performance. Um, I didn't actually expect to win the whole series, so I'm definitely really happy right now. For the men's ranking standings, George Bovell and Kenneth Toe would fight it out for the top dollar. Several other male swimmers had good days at the Singapore office, and we start with Stanislav Donets. The Russian won 14 races in total, all eight of the 50 meter backstroke and six of the 100 meters in the same event, and finished third overall in the World Cup rankings for 2012. It's a big sprint here. 50 meters backstroke is just there and back. And already look at Donitz. Donitz, Stanislav Donitz, absolutely home and hosed here. What a fantastic swim. And that is very, very impressive. First place in 23-22. And, well, it was all over in a flash. Other strong performances came from Zhang Chi Bin, a double in the butterfly for him. Australia's Christian Springer in the breaststroke also took two. And Darian Townsend of South Africa in the individual medley in the two longer races. But in the shortest medley event, Kenneth Toe and George Bovell went head to head for the top ranking spot and the 100,000 US dollar check. Toe is in four. Bovell is closer to us in seven. Just look, Bovell breaks the water first. But out in the middle there is Toe of Australia in four. And he goes out really well at the moment. It's Kenneth Toe who's in big, big shape. He's in four, lane four. Wow, that is Kenneth it's Toe very in the lead. Explosive. Yeah, absolutely. But Bell in second place in seven, a little bit closer to us. He's in now to the breaststroke stage. This is the big one. And this is where Bobel is really putting up a big fight. He is absolutely matching the now freestyle. Kenneth Toe. George Bobel in seven. Here he is, he's into the freestyle now, and Bobel can do this. Bobel has come through so strongly. It's Bobel from Toe. They are the top of the race, Bobel! No! Oh. Goodness me, what a race. Toe has been given it. Bobel takes second. And that was a very, very impressive performance. My goodness me. George Bovell had to beat Kenneth Toe and hope the Australian finished well down the field, but that did not happen, as Toe once again rose to the challenge to post his third fastest time at the FINA Arena Swimming World Cup. Kenneth Toe was the winner. $100,000 was the victory amount, and I tell you, it couldn't go to a better deserving cause than, uh, than that. 100,000 US dollars to the winner of the overall series. 195 points. No wonder he's celebrating. Kenneth Toe, the winner there. Yeah, I'm feeling over the moon, very happy. Um, yeah, it's been a long series, six and a half weeks in total. And yeah, to stand here tonight on the last evening of this World Cup series, and yeah, to be the men's overall point score champion, it's, yeah, it's just an incredible feeling. So Kenneth Toe and Katinka Hosu dominated the FINA Arena Swimming World Cup for 2012. All in all, three World Cup records were set, one by Mufar and two from Sato, while Stanislav Donets and Brita Steffens ruled their respective events. 
roll on the 2012 FINA World Swimming Championships. That's it for this episode. We'll be back in the new year with more aquatics action. Until then, thanks for watching and bye for now.